When living on a boat, there's always a project. The shifters are out and new cables are about to go in. Stick around to see how it turns out. As 40-somethings, we sold our house, ditched our corporate climb, and traded our Porsche for a Prius. This is our reset. This is Sissy and Bud. The shifter cables that Bud ordered over Labor Day weekend have come in, so we're headed to Louisville to pick them up. From where we docked the boat, it takes just about as long to head to Marine Sales and Service in Louisville as it would to head up to Cincinnati to go to a Marine store. Bud went in and got the cables, we took a quick spin of the lot to look at some of the boats up on blocks, and then headed back to the marina. After the holiday weekend, I was ready to get back on track and make a big salad like I usually do for lunch. I'll put a link to our Labor Day weekend video so you can see what all we did. If you're enjoying taking a peek into our life on the boat, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. After lunch, we jumped right into the shifter cable project. Fun fact, on a boat, you call each side port and starboard instead of left and right. Our issue was with the port cable, but since we were replacing one, we decided we'd go ahead and replace both the port and the starboard cables. There's always friends around the dock who are willing to help and give advice. We had to remove the covering of the wall of what Bud calls the chimney. This part of the wall holds the cables and other cords that run in the boat. One of the challenges we had with this project was being able to reach the cables and feed them to where they needed to go. Bud was able to run the cables to the bottom of the boat and now he's bringing them up top. A lot of modern boats are equipped with electronic shifting cables which send a digital signal. On our boat, we have mechanical cables that physically move to engage the transmission. The new cables that connect the upstairs driving station to the downstairs driving station are all in place. We did some tests with the engines on, now all we have to do is take her out for a shakedown cruise. Look for that in our next video. I'm gonna make some potato soup tonight. It's one of our favorite recipes. I'm gonna use the foodie to do it. I don't use oil when cooking, so I start off by sauteing these onions in a little water or soy sauce. I love garlic, so I add both fresh and powdered, along with some onion powder, some salt, coconut milk, and lots of other spices. After the vegetables have cooked down, I add some water and then the potatoes. Nutritional yeast and tahini are two of my secret ingredients. This potato soup recipe is dairy free, but you won't miss it. I'll put the recipe down below in the description box, but warning, I really just throw a little bit of this and a little bit of that, so they're not exact measurements. I add the peas and the canned coconut milk to the soup once the potatoes are nice and soft. Then I make sure it's nice and warm and it's ready to serve. Hey, it's Sissy. We're about to go kayaking. I've never been before. It's my first time. Can't wait. Before we can set off on our kayaking adventure, we've got to get the kayaks ready. The two blue ones we can pop right in the water. This larger two-seater kayak needs to be blown up. Luckily, we've got a shop back to do that job. Once we had it all blown up, we realized we had something at the end that needed to come back over. But no worries, we just deflated one side, pulled the front piece up, and refilled it. Just when Bud thought he had it all blown up, we realized there were seats that needed to be blown up too. The 
sweets are all finished. Now it's time to lunch. We had a successful launch of the boat in the water. Now to get the people in. And she's in. Now for passenger two. And they're ready for lunch. You can tell this isn't their first time. I successfully made it into the kayak. Now I'm ready for some rowing tips. Just starting and already rowing backwards. Yay! we're off to head to the middle part of the creek. Bye bud, see you later. We didn't take our cameras with us, so this is the end of the footage, but we had a great day out on the creek. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Sissy and Bud. Subscribe to the Sissy and Bud channel to explore more fun locations. Comment below and let us know your favorite place to kayak. Get your mammogram. Talk soon.